Yo, what is up, everybody? As you guys can see, based on our unopened packs, we're kind of a mess. But we have a lot in store to come. 41 Blitz packs on deck today. The odds that we open up all of these today, pretty low, considering that um we don't have enough binder space to open all of them. So these Blitz packs have three guaranteed Blitz tickets. These Blitz tickets are for the whole promo, the Black Friday slash Cyber Monday promo, which is pretty sick so far. Um, Ricky, that guy might actually go for a little bit. He might go in a set and... um. Okay, so we got 40 of those, and we have a um, we have some of these toppers for the packs, but we're not going to open those right now to save binder space, and we have a signature reward pack that we are going to open today, and that I'm very excited about, because the lowest overall we can get out of that pack is a 94 overall player, and even if you get a bad one, I mean, they're still pretty good, like Reggie Bush you can get, he's one of the best receiving backs, I think he actually is the best receiving back in the game, we actually got four blitz tickets in that pack? Um, no, we, yeah, we got four. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm all right with getting extra ones. I want to get as many as possible because it took 80 to do that. It took 80 Blitz tickets to do that signature reward pack. And I'm trying to have enough to do, um, a, um, Night Train Lane. A Night Train Lane set that probably comes out tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, on Monday. That's going to take, like, what, 200 Blitz tickets, something crazy like that. So, I'm not sure I have enough, so I could pull any extra Blitz tickets. That's fine by me. And like I said, I don't know how much we're going to open. I'm pretty much going to open until we run out of binder space. The other big thing that's happening is Sean Taylor is now in Madden. Sean Taylor is out. But Sean Taylor is the set. And that was pretty surprising to me that they made Sean Taylor the set. Because um, they could have definitely made Sean Taylor the guy in packs. And usually there's one legend that they come out with in packs. And one legend that is on um, a set. They could have put Sean Taylor in packs. And people would have been crazy over those legend packs. I mean, people are still kind of crazy trying to get those Sean Taylor collectibles. But, um... That's pretty big because now more people are going to be able to obtain Sean Taylor. And he not only is someone that everybody loves, but he is the best free safety in the game right now. 97 overall, 100 hit power, great, uh, just great like athletic attributes. And then um, his own coverage is the one thing that definitely brings him down and makes him human. But otherwise, he's just a straight up beast. I think we got four Blitz tickets in that pack. We're still looking for our elite first elite player. But um, yeah, I didn't do a video on Black Friday because I don't know. I got to stop hitting B every single time I open up a pack. I don't know why I'm doing that. But um. Yeah, I think we'll open like five more of these and then we'll hit the signature of reward player. But yeah, I didn't do any um pack opening yesterday because I was kind of busy and um I don't know, I just wasn't feeling doing a Black Friday video. I just figured I'd save all my packs for today. But I did open up a ton of pro packs yesterday. Like I'm talking somewhere around 40 to 50 of those Black Friday pro packs just to try to get as many blitz tickets as possible and try to get some good pulls. So I was busy out there. You guys probably like if you follow my contracts, you can follow someone's contracts to see about how many packs they've opened. And I've opened a lot. I haven't played a lot of games, so that definitely speaks a lot to um, how many packs we have opened up lately, especially pro packs. So uh, God, I'm, I promise I'm gonna not hit B anymore until we go to the signature pack. But I'm um, still looking for our first elite. I was eight packs in, still looking for our first elite player of the pack opening. The one thing when I opened up all those pro packs was I was really struggling to get any elite players. But we are getting these blitz tickets, which is um, what we I, I'm I. Kind of more so care about pulling like four or five blitz tickets in one pack than getting a certain amount of um, elite players. Cause like so I'm not really looking to get Tony Romo right now. We're looking to go big or go home. We got a we got a signature um style pack, whatever it's called, to open up. All right, that's a go big or go home kind of pack right there. So this is gonna be the last pack we open up, and then we're going well until we go open up that signature style pack. All right, guys. I mentioned some of the worst players you can get, some of the best players you can get. A 97 overall Tony G, Tony Gonzalez. We got four, yes, let's go, four blitz tickets. 97 overall Tony Gonzalez. You can get 97 overall Isaac Bruce. You can get 98 overall Ed Reed, but the player we're going to get is Le'Veon Bell. 95 overall. I was really hoping I didn't get a running back because I'm still trying to play with Walter Payton out here. But um, Le'Veon Bell is not. I mean, it's it's middle of the pack pull. I don't know how much. He might go for like 400 or 300K. There's definitely... Ed Reed is definitely the top price to get from um, this whole set. If you check Le'Veon's stats compared to... Whoa, compared to Walter... Um, I mean, a lot of the useless stats he's got over Walter Payton, like, ball carrier version. But his elusiveness is very high. Trucking, not so much. But his speed is pretty down. So I would still say Walter's the better back. But, um, I mean, that's comparing Le'Veon Bell to an absolute legend right there. He's still a really good back. He may not be as good as Walter Payton or Eric Dickerson. But I don't think anybody would be opposed to having Mr. Le'Veon Bell on their team as we continue to open up some more Blitz Packs right here. Um, still trying to get our first Elite Pull of um, the Blitz Packs. These Blitz Packs, they haven't been treating us too well, but we have been getting a lot of Blitz 
collectibles and whatever so so that's all right i'm looking for some Bengals players and cowboys players specifically i'm trying to do their mvp sets and you get some like gold you get a certain amount of gold players from those teams like 15 of them and even some elite cowboy and Bengals players like a tony actually no i meant i was kind of shit talking romo but i could use a tony romo i don't think the cowboys can use him after thursday but i could use tony romo out here but um how about that um how about those thanksgiving games uh, the Bears pulled off the upset. The Lions absolutely blew out the Eagles. The Eagles really need um, someone that's not named Mark Sanchez to run quarterback. The Cowboys are just doomed for the season because of the quarterback position. Even when Romo comes back, it doesn't work out. And that opens the door for my Giants. Straight opens the door for us to walk away with the NFC East. I mean, the Eagles are still in contention, especially when we lose today. And the Redskins are right there. But that's why the Giants are today. I mean, um tomorrow but the Giants really have to win tomorrow's game that's a really important game for us against the Redskins a divisional game and like our the end of our schedule is really tough this year so we really have to win out the next couple of games so we play the Jets next week we play um I forget who we play the Dolphins or something like that so those are games we can definitely win and we have to win apparently Manny Ramirez got two upgrades he got a left guard upgrade and then um the Thanksgiving one so I'm gonna open up Let's say seven more packs. That's how much it's going to take to kill our binder space. And then um, maybe open up some packs on Monday when, um, what do you call it? They got Cyber Monday going on. I'm pretty sure Mutt's going to be doing something big for Cyber Monday. Is, uh, have we pulled an elite player yet? Like, I don't think we have pulled an elite player yet. <laughs> this is like, what? Like, really? What, what is going on here, EA? Like, I know I know these blitzes technically count as elites. But like, that doesn't mean we can't throw us like some crap one. I got, we got our first football outsider. We um, this guy, we're not going to try to pronounce his name. But, um, yeah, it's the whole outlook on the NFC East, for those who are wondering. And um, the outlook on the AFC South, speaking of crappy divisions, is also wide open. The Texans are right in the race. Somehow, some way, they have a big game coming up. They have some... They have a big game coming up against the Bills in a couple of weeks who are in that wild card position. We got team of the week, Brock Osweiler. Um, let's see. We already got three blitz tickets. Maybe we can get a fourth one out here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, we got four, right? I kind of right. Four blitz tickets. All right. I'm liking these blitz packs. I'm liking these extra blitz tickets. I'm telling you, I need enough to do um, night train lane. I feel like I'm a little bit short, so I really want to knock out a bunch of blitz. I want to get like one or two more out of this pack and maybe an elite player. Like, that would be kind of cool. Of course, the AFC um, East, we don't got to talk about that because the Patriots are running away with that. AFC North, Bengals are running away with that. But the Steelers look like they should be getting a wildcard spot. They'll get the first wildcard spot, which is good for them. I mean, they'll play playing wildcard weekend. But considering how disastrous their injuries have been at the quarterback spot on Le'Veon Bell out for the year, you'll take a wildcard spot if you're a Steelers fan. And then, um... The NFC North is still up in the air. We don't know how the Vikings are going to close the season or if Green Bay is going to turn it up. But right now, Green Bay is turning it down, and that's kind of the problem. <laughs> it's like, like what else? Like, There's not much else the Packers can do to get better when you think about it. Like, This is Devontae Adams is back, Le'Veon Bell, or not Le'Veon Bell. And Eddie Lacy's running for a ton of yards. It's like, what else can the Packers do to get better? You know, it's kind of confusing we got four blitz tickets in that pack no we only got three damn it man i'm on a four this is gonna be the last pack though so that's some of the division now look if you guys it's gonna be a big day tomorrow to see some of the games that go down the sunday night game broncos versus um patriots i mean the broncos pretty much had the afc west wrapped up with the raiders kind of falling off but still or actually, they might be tracked on my Chiefs. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. But um, anyways, leave a like in this video if you guys enjoyed it. I really do not think we pulled one elite player, which is... What? I got we not pull an elite player. Either way, um, leave a like in the video if you um, enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time.